so how about play the fucking game? Yeah. It's not like Jumanji or something. You get sucked into the world. <laughs> like, oh, it's real, too. <laughs> We have a surprise, Shay. We have your yeah. mom to prove it right now. Get in here, Mr. Raider. <laughs>We got a water. We have Kratom if you need it. Kratom. Okay. <laughs> what is Kratom? I've yeah. heard about Kratom quite a bit. Right. Tell them about it. You're All a right. Kratom Dude, enthusiast. We were we fucking around. So Kratom is just like a weird... Uh, it's like a... Uh, bark from a tree in like Vietnam. Okay, I'm and about. I'm on board now, right now. So it's like dudes. Like, <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, this. Yeah. I like where it's this like is going. It's like coffee, but it's also like an opiate as well. Uh, yeah. So is it an upper or downer? Uh, it depes depends, bro. There's different strains of it. <laughs> you he hates. Lame. He hates this whole kratom shit. I'm you don't a, I'm like. A kratom I've guy. tried it and it doesn't. I don't really feel. Brian, anything. you liked oh, it, right? Yeah, no, yeah, hi. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. It was great. Yeah. Okay, so when you did it, would you say I don't feel anything like? I'm not getting high or I don't feel anything. It's like not even a cup of coffee. It didn't feel like a cup of coffee. I mean, I, I am a, like a coffee drinker. I have like one cup a day. So yeah, maybe yeah. I'm like more used to it than him. But yeah. I, it just felt like I had like a Diet Coke or something oh, maybe at okay. most. Like, See, there you got to up. It's all about dosages. I got to take a high <laughs> We got to fucking get this guy's yeah. Kratom dose <laughs> yeah. through the fucking roof. You're a big fella, dude. We needed like 150 yeah. milligrams. Only dude, are you guys sponsored by a Kratom company? Dude, we, we should. should. Be. That'd be Why hard. are we not? Yeah, you're just I giving free shout outs to Kratom for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll tell. I'll take some kratom. I'll yeah. do it. I don't do give the a fuck. Kratom. You have the kratom it's on you. My, it's in my car. Oh, I don't. Why would you offer it to him? I was kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was completely kidding. <laughs> I was totally joking. But you just want to oh. talk about it any way you can, huh? I get. I get out. Yeah. He I did like it sneak there. it in immediately. Yeah. 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 He's like, we Shut got up. water. We got kratom. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like of the top it, things you offer a guest, you know, water, <laughs> kratom, fucking. <laughs> what, you want how you start your morning? That's how you start morning at four thirty p.m. Dude, there are comics in town have told me, though, that they took Adderall and Kratom, and they said Kratom was more addicting than Adderall. Really? Like, they had a harder time coming off Kratom, yeah. that, which doesn't make sense to me, but... Okay, well, now I gotta try it. I'm yeah. always looking for a new drug, but, like, not a drug that's gonna kill me. Like, yeah. obviously, there's, like, the top dogs. You got heroin, meth, fentanyl's, like, creeping on the scene and everything yeah. like that. But I'm, like, I'm looking for... I want a new experience. Like, I remember when I was, like, 14... I was like, I, it was like the first time I had a drink. And I was like, yeah. yo, whoa, what is this about? Yeah, and it's life changing. Yeah, you have a drink and you're like, okay, this like alters my state in a way that mm -hmm. I could, you can't perceive. Yeah. And I only drank and my family was very like anti-weed. And so I never smoked weed. Okay. I was like, it's so bad for you. And then I remember the first time I smoked weed, I was like maybe 17 or something or 18, like almost out of high school. Yeah. Uh, and that... I assumed it was just going to be a version of drunk, mm -hmm. but it alters your state in a completely different way. And then I was like, well, now I got to do them all. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I got to figure out what all these states are. Right. Uh, so now, now that we got Kratom on the table, oh, I want to see what Kratom is. Look, I, uh, here's yeah. the overview. Damn, yeah. Brian. By the way, uh, yeah, people normally do Kratom to uh, get over doing heroin. Okay. Why yeah. is this sold at the gas station then? What do you mean? You could buy. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? If you if you're on opiates, you know it's kind of cool to just yeah, get for withdrawal <laughs> gas station heroin, opiates, heroin, morphine, and other opiate drugs, as well as cough. Yeah, as well as cough, depression, anxiety, and many other conditions. All right. Yeah, this is like a, a super. Yeah, dude, I've, I have I've had a nasty cough for the past six months. You know. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! That's okay. Well, now I'm now I got to figure it out. I've yeah. heard the word kratom thrown around a decent yeah. amount, but now that I know it gets you legit fucking high and or high up or down, I'm an up guy. Are you yeah. guys uppers or downers? What do you guys like? I like weed. Big mm. weed. Big weed guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it depends. I mean, th really, the only upper that I have tried is kratom. Really? I don't even drink caffeine. <laughs> you don't drink caffeine. You no. never tried coke. Never tried ecstasy. Nope. Really? Uh, that's not true. I've tried. I've had Molly. Okay. Yeah. Molly yeah. rules. Molly is pretty sweet. Yeah. 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 I like Molly's mushrooms too. Mushrooms I just, are great. I like. I already think. Like I feel like my brain's always going so fast that I like the weed. It like kind of calms me down. Where yeah. I feel like any of the uppers, it makes it worse. It's oh, just okay. for sure panic attack. Like I'll smoke weed, drink a cup of coffee, and freak out. Okay. See, so, I'm I'm never trying to go slower. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. It's like uh, my. My whole like my perception of drugs is like we take these to party mm -hmm. we're trying to like accelerate what we're doing that's right. fair. so i've never been a downer guy though i remember remember when lean was a big thing yes we oh. were all fucking sick sipping on some scissor yes, yes. dude you had to have the two fucking styrofoam, styrofoam cups cup. jolly yeah. rancher in the yeah. bottom yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude we were whipping up the scissors
Fizzer. Bro. First time I drank it, I remember just feeling slow and I was like, this sucks. Why are people drinking? Yeah. Like we were out at a function, like we're out at a house party. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe like, I don't know, 16 or some shit. Yeah. I drink this and I go, never again. No, no, yeah. no, no. We no. gotta go faster, guys. No, it's yeah. weird. You just see dudes like sitting down on a fucking wall. Yeah. You know, just chilling. And you're like, hey, you all right? No, yeah, that, yeah. that and Xanax, I never understood like just popping one oh, at a party. Dude, never, I, never said that. Got a big, I, that's like my line for drugs. I'm trying to cut back on like drugs and booze and stuff a lot right now. Yeah. Uh, but my line for, I don't fuck with this anymore is prescriptions. I never touch prescription drugs. I've yeah. never done Xanax, Valium or any of that shit. That's smart. smart. It's a lot also like I'm from Canada, a lot harder mm -hmm. to get up in Canada. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I just, it, I think it's prescription drugs are weird because you can go to a doctor and get enough to kill yourself. Yeah. Like yeah. At, at, for a very affordable price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your, your dealer, like if you were like, I'm getting like, I need a fucking ounce of Coke. He would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like what? Yeah. He'd be like, no. I'm not selling you an ounce of coke. Yeah. Like, well, come on, man. Like, I'm gonna do it over a month. Yeah. Like, no, you're not. No. <laughs> you're 100 not. No one fucking just holds on yeah. to an ounce of coke. Yeah, and they give you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That is that I never thought about it that way. They do just give you like, yeah, this could kill you 12 times over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just like just be responsible. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Yeah, there's like small instructions. You get a refill too. That's always the craziest. Yeah. Like, I got my wisdom teeth out, and they gave me three renewal of bottles for Vicodin. That's I was like, fucking crazy. Dude, I'm like, you're out for like three days. Yeah. I only needed it the first day. And then I was like, I still have 20 more and I can get 40 more of these? Yeah. This is stupid. What do you that's... expect me to do? Yeah, other than yeah. get hooked on Vicodin. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all that's about to happen. Yeah. Unless I'm real um, industrial and I start selling them. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I did have that thought for a second. And then I was like, it sounds like too much work. Yeah, yeah. And my parents would be so disappointed in me. Yeah, if I to... dude. Did we become, that's like the thing. It's like, Cause I feel like there's a perception. I don't know what your parents think of you, but like, yeah. I like have never really given a fuck about like, oh, we got to do things the right way. Like, like things like fucking dress clothes. I fucking hate those. I'd yeah. rather wear like fucking sweatpants every day of the of the year. I don't want to fucking do any of that shit. But I've been relatively successful mm -hmm. in my shit. So then if uh if I was to become a drug addict, they're like, well, told you so. Oh, see, uh, uh. Yeah. So I'm like, I can't. I need to be like, no, I was right. You guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wearing fucking dress shoes is dumb and gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you... wait, yeah, my parents were the, they were the same way where they were just like, if you smoke like any weed, you'll be doing heroin by next week. Exactly. And, uh, they found out by next week. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a crazy statement, dude. It was like that's yeah. how serious they were about it. Like when my mom found out I smoked weed, like she was like devastated, and she found out like a year ago. Dude, as a, as a grown man, that I was dude. like I had smoked weed. She was like, "What did I do wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> it's when you moved to Austin, yeah. huh? I knew you were gonna get addicted to drugs. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, addicted like, to drugs. Yeah. The perception of weed for like people. It's so wild to see because it is mm -hmm. so much like, you know, we're like, oh, people buy into propaganda. And, yeah. and, and I mean, like when I was younger, that was we, the weed was yeah. really sold that way. Gateway drug, gateway yes, drug. Yeah. And how far we've come like, oh, it's completely legal in Canada. Yeah. There's it's a lot of uh, states where that have legalized it. You can buy it in a store. Major like everyone. Everyone probably knows a person who uses weed quite rec what, yeah. re recreationally yeah. goes to the movies. I smoke weed and relax. And still people have this perception of like, oh, my God, it's basically like you're fucking tapping the vein. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're taking whatever concoction of drugs. Yeah. Like it's so it's like they they've been told uh, a narrative mm -hmm. and they have given no effort to think outside yeah. the box or any side of a yeah. type of comparison. It's usually people that have never smoked weed. Yeah. 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 No, my mom's never smoked. There's not right. a chance. She's a nurse. She's like, she came and visited and I had a, a, like a weed themed show that I was on and she was like, I won't come because I could risk getting it in my hair and they'll hair test me and I'll fail and I won't be a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> and she just didn't come to the show. Like, uh, all right. she's, she's like, like I'm going to go and I'm going to get second high, second hand high, and I'm going to become an addict. Yeah. Basically, yeah. that was like, yeah. So she was like, I can't do it. I'm Damn, so dude. sorry. I couldn't imagine your mom being like geeked either way. No, yeah. That'd she's be pretty not... funny. Dude, anytime I feel like I am afraid of something, I think of things like this. Yeah. yeah. Like I think of that, like, it, it's a type of ignorance where 
you're not willing to accept any type of information. You're just going to kind of sit in your fear, yeah. which yeah. is like, it doesn't damage your life in any way, but it also stops you from experiencing so many things. Yeah. So if I'm ever like, oh no, like I can't go to this thing because someone will have this perception of me or anything. I remember how stupid it is to be afraid of something like weed. And then I go, yeah. like, no, 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 I, I fucking, I'll try this thing out. Yeah. Just cause who knows what I'm missing out on. That's actually a really good. I've never thought about it like that, but that's like a very yeah smart way to look at things. Well, cause I figure that I, I'm looking at this thing. Oh, yeah. this is so ridiculous, but we're all hypocrites. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely am doing that about something else. I don't know what it is, but I'm for sure doing that about something else. I do that with technology. I try to stay up to date on technology because yeah. my parents were like very anti video game and I love mm -hmm. video games. Like I always have like, this is fucking stupid. Da, da, mm -hmm. da. Yeah. And now I'm still playing video games like crazy. Yeah. I only feel bad for them. Cause I'm like, oh man, you missed out on this genre of entertainment that like grew grew up next to you and changed, yeah. and because you were older and and I guess afraid or just uneducated or it made you mad for some unknown reason. <laughs> you have some shit you need to deal with. Yeah, you just did not indulge in this at all. Like I look at AI and I'm like, oh, learn all about AI, VR, all yeah. these things, so that when I'm an old person, I'm not like missing out on fucking whatever the new version of like Elden Ring is. Yeah, I'm like yeah, that would have yeah, been, yeah. dude, <laughs> <laughs> that's an experience I yeah. don't want to not have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because because I always were, I I grew up playing video games. We still play them. We're like big video game guys, nice. and the same thing where I'm like, I don't ever want to become the guy that doesn't play video games. Yeah, because I already have friends that are like, Are you 26? You still play video games? I'm like, What? Don't you watch TV? Yeah, yeah what do you want? It's me like to? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's entertainment, mm -hmm. and that's another type of. It like it's another type of ignorance to just be like oh video games are for kids or video games are really violent like video yeah. games saying i don't play video games is like saying i don't watch movies or i don't watch tv or i don't listen to music yeah, it's yeah. an entire breadth of genre of entertainment that you can have experiences that you live in internally like a a, a league of legends or a world of yeah. warcraft that you go back to again oh, and dude. again you can have these short hbo experiences like the last of us that are like these deep meaningful stories you can have like short little bite-sized experiences have you heard of unpacking do you know what unpacking is no what's so. It's a puzzle game, this like cozy puzzle game where you like take things out of boxes and put them in your apartment and you want them to like <laughs> everything to fit really nicely. Really? Yeah. It's like it, every type of uh, form. I think it's the greatest form of entertainment. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying that as a fucking comic. Yeah. I'm like, video games are better, dude. They're yeah. so Stop watching stand up comedy. <laughs> and, like, video pick games. up a controller. <laughs> yeah. Pick up the sticks, you dumb yeah. fucking kids, dude. Yeah. dude. They're making crazy money, too. All the esports oh, guys are yeah. like. Well, they had an esports, uh, a FIFA event here in Austin, and we went, and yeah. there were like fans of esports players, like standing up and doing chants for the players and yeah. wearing that, jerseys of esports. That was crazy. Yeah. These guys have their own chants for their like team names and shit. Oh, yeah. And there's people in the stands going, like, oh, it was it was weird dude the crazy. i don't know if this stat still stands but this was a few years ago i heard this uh that the league of legends final more people watch that than the mlb final and the nhl final combined oh my oh, god that's shit. fucking wild Damn. i could see that because those are the like old whites are getting yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so mad dude, the asians are taking over everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can't have anything good anymore <laughs> Holy shit. My That's... first exposure to that shit, uh, the League and Dota are very similar. They're both yeah. MOBAs and they're like the yeah. biggest MOBAs. I have a buddy who's like a crazy Dota guy. Like he, he's been playing like Dota. He describes, he's like, I've been playing Dota for 15 years and I suck. Like the... <laughs> <laughs> MOABs are hard. They're so... Have you ever played yeah. Smite or heard of Smite? Yeah, I know Smite Okay, as well, we're yeah. obsessed with Smite. Okay, like, so we're gonna go home are... and play that. We have two TVs set up by Let's each other. Let's go! Right oh, dude, it's so, it's, it's terrible. It's so good. It's terrible, cause then I'll just sit there for like five hours, lose 10 games. Just be like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm not. I did not relax. Did not enjoy anything. No. But I just good. I've played League a bit, and mm. then I put it away, and I just got back. I started listening to Huberman, yeah. and he was talking about focus and learning and how to get better at it. And I was yeah. like, what could I use this new knowledge about how to learn better? And I was like, maybe I'll learn how to play League. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude uh, they I, I i think they're fun i like the whole like characters and world and yeah. shit they build like yeah. uh and it's just like it is um it's like fighting games or like any type of like competitive gaming yeah that it's a different type of high you get when you get on a run yeah. and you're really just like fist yes. fucking someone <laughs> yeah it's good yeah we've been on fifa lately too a lot of comics in town we all play fifa yeah and it's the uh, it's just yeah. When you beat the shit out of someone, oh god! I get like actually mad. Like when someone starts to go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. up, we have one friend that every goal he scores, he goes, "Yeah!" 
<laughs> just in your ears and ah, oh, yeah. dude, I get for real yeah. mad. I'll have to like leave the room after I lose. Dude, it's fucking bullshit. Dude. Have you guys seen that video? It's like this is like classic older brother video. Mm -hmm. It's uh older brother and I guess the older brother's friend and his playing the older brother's playing against his younger brother in FIFA and you can just see it's the goal of the century. Like you can hear the TV and yeah. the older brother goes. Anthony, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like, "Shut the fuck up!" And it's all he in... starts crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the little kid. Yeah. Yes, it's Dude. all in fucking Portuguese or something. Yeah. Yeah. And the mom walks in. She's like, "What's going on in here?" And he's like, and "The young bro's like, every time he scores, he's going Anthony, Anthony." <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I do remember oh, that video. Yeah, that that video is ago. sweet. Oh, yeah, that video fucking rocks me. I send that to everyone. I have a folder on my phone called yeah. The Best. I have one on Instagram. I have one on TikTok. And I just scroll through it. Some, it's all, everything that's made me laugh. Damn. I actually oh. watch those videos before I write. Because it makes me like, I'm laughing. And then I'm like, oh, I'm in the right headspace to fucking make jokes. Yeah. But I watch that video a lot because it's in that <laughs> folder. Yeah. Do you remember right. the story of when Cardell Jones went to the children's hospital to play Madden and he won like 85 to 7? No. And they, and Jabrian, can you pull up that story? <laughs> Yo, he's what? like, he like, and they asked him, they were like, why? And he's like, you think I was going to go easy on these kids? Like, <laughs> yeah. you got to teach them to grow up. And it was, they were literally like, dying. <laughs> Ohio State was like, go visit these terminally ill chalk kids with like cancer and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Don, yeah, the quarterback. The quarterback. <laughs> No, no, not that. That's just gonna be yeah. Click on that story. So he was he was at Ohio State at the time. Yeah, he yeah. Was, he was yeah, a QB for Ohio State. QB, Ninety-one to thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> he goes into the fucking St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> "Can we play?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. want to, if you, if you, can you handle it? This might kill you. Yeah. Just in case you don't know." <laughs> Can you scroll down to his quote? I want to see because it says a, a month later, Cardell Jones wanted to clear things up. Go up more or down? Where is it? The quarterback and a few other man. I wish everyone stopped saying I beat the kid 91 to 35. It was 98 to 35. <laughs> <laughs> you really had to clear it up. That's so fucking brutal, dude. Oh my god. I had 91 with 126 left in the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> He's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy oh. shit. Yeah, man. That is like being a piece of shit on a different level. <laughs> it's so sweet though. I uh, love that. It's oh yeah. It's it's great. I couldn't do that. Hmm. I wouldn't have the gall to look a fucking bald kid in the face <laughs> and be like, yo, guess what? I'm putting another one up on the board, dude. Calling timeouts in the fourth quarter and shit. <laughs> Kicking an onside kick <laughs> against these fucking dying kids. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck, shit. bro. I want to get a Cardell Jones jersey. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's, That's so funny. So bad, man. Ooh. Dude, there's some great old gaming stories like that, dude. Do yeah. you know about that fucking... Um, there's this famous World of Warcraft one. Yeah. Uh, in World of Warcraft on one server, there was like this very famous person on the server. This is like old school vanilla WoW. Yeah. He, uh, he died in real life. Okay. So they held a funeral for his character in the game. And he was like well known by both Horde and Alliance, like the good guys, bad guys. So yeah. everyone like disarmed their weapons, went to a, like a neutral place and held a funeral for him. People on the server heard about this <laughs> and they fucking stormed down there and killed everyone. God at damn. The fucking God damn. Like murdered every last person. <laughs> and they're like, you're horrible people. Why would you do this? They're like, ha ha ha, you fuck like emoting on the mission. <laughs> We were uh, here to uh, celebrate uh, Ass Blaster 3000's life. Yeah. And you came yeah. here and ruined it. So funny, man. So funny. <laughs> Have you seen those new? They're all over TikTok, the mm. like Among Us VR, and like the grown adults will go in at the kids and they'll yes. scream at them until the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, he's in, he's in, he's like, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, dude. Have you ever heard of uh, fuck Ashron's Call? No. Mm -mm. Okay, Ashron's Call was this wild MMO that came out from uh, by Microsoft years ago. And they yeah. had like wild systems like you could basically have people working under you. They had like pyramid scheme shit. Or yeah. like if I <laughs> like guild you, you work under me and a percentage of all the XP you get goes to me. And oh my there was God. no level cap. 
So you had dudes who were at the top of these like massive pyramids who would just be like super powerful. And there was yeah. also to cast spells, you had to like mix orbs in different directions. And so people could find out how to cast, like I like could debuff you. It's you have like no armor and buff myself. So I have high attack and I just beat the shit out of you. Like crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. It was a really like unique game. And they also had a loot drop system where if you killed someone, they would drop something and you could take that loot and you could never give it back if you didn't want. Yeah. And one of my buddies played this game when he was a kid. <laughs> this is Cameron phoenix i stream with this dude hilarious comic he fucking had this dude in the server who he hated and he would like kill him and fight him and shit all the time he found out that his parents and his sister and his brother also played the game yeah. he found the guy's mom on the server killed his mom <laughs> took her staff and then would beat his other family members with the staff. <laughs> Oh dude, my god. That is so oh my god. funny. So funny, dude. dude. He basically became their stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit. Yeah, dude. What fucking, a fucking wild. Shout out to Cameron on that one. That is like yeah. one of the fucking funniest things wow. I've ever heard. Do you, you do you stream? Mm hmm. We're streaming Baldur's Gate right now. That's oh, oh yeah, that's been big. Oh yeah. What's your yeah. class? I'm playing a barb. I fucking love barbs, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's fucking pumped up. Brian's about it. I played it by myself, so I was yeah. like, why not just yeah. be influential and yeah. charismatic? <laughs> dude. <laughs> What are you playing? What are you? Yeah, I'm a bard. No, not bard. Barb. Barbarian. Oh, barbarian. Yeah, I'm barbarian. I'm a bard, fuck it. Yeah, no, no, playing no, 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 music. You're a bard? That's lame as fuck, Brian. Right? What do you do? My, Wait. My charisma's at 17. Fuck you. Dude, that's the thing about bard. So, like, every class is all D&D, &D, right? Yeah. yeah. A, 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 a bard. A bard has such high charisma. So, every social situation, they're like persuasion. Like, you fuck everybody. Oh, you yeah. you talk your way out of that's everything. All right, this why. makes that's, sense. Just <laughs> lying and manipulate. That's maybe. what bards do. <laughs> fucking my my friends were doing a D&D &D campaign and he was one guy in the group was playing a bard with a slide whistle oh, <laughs> hell yeah. and the the D, a DM was very serious about the world very dark and gloomy but the bard was like because his charisma is so good he could just kind of manipulate himself past the words so like this giant uh, uh, guard is stopping you from coming in he's like I ask him if he'll suck my dick persuasion roll <laughs> wow <laughs> Dude. Yeah, dude. damn, Brian, this is you. This yeah. is you. No, no, That's I, sick. I like playing barbarians because a barbarian just hits hard, takes a lot of damage, yeah. and it has actually good charisma, and they're very good at intimidating people. We've made it through like almost all our social situations where it's like, what do we do here? Someone's like, what? Like we were escaping with a prisoner we wanted to save, and the guards are like, they're supposed to be locked up, and you just roll intimidations. Like I yell at them, and they're like, <laughs> okay, and, and then we're just like, fuck you. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So yeah, you're streaming that right fun. now. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't done. Are, have you done any D and D shit? Yeah, I played it once with like my cousins and stuff. It's yeah. fun. It like, rules. I, it yeah. rules, man. Yeah, I, I haven't tried it. You yeah. need a good D, like a DM, That's, a dungeon yeah. master, because they have to be able to like kind of let you goof around and role play, and they have to be able to immediately come up with a story yeah. off it. Like, because there's only like a small guideline. Only, yeah. Right. Yeah. So your DM basically like the DM builds the entire world. Okay. So there's like guided ones you can do. So they're like, oh, this story leads to here. If they go here, yeah. this thing happens. But like most DMs just build everything from fucking scratch and yeah. their world will be whatever they create and they'll have different scenarios right. and they have to be able to like build tension and have things end mm -hmm. on a cliffhanger yeah. be a very good storyteller and shit and then you just have these like who, like three to five idiots fucking running around but you can get very creative it's 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 uh it's fun as fuck yeah. it's actually so very Baldur's fun Gate is like that just in a video game Baldur's Gate is the official Dungeons and Dragons game Damn. so yeah. it has like okay. the dice rolling the same characters mm. the class building yeah. And all that kind of shit and the game is extremely impressive you can yeah. fuck like everyone in the game <laughs> yeah. i scissored with this one like mean bitch <laughs> and then she got locked up and i was like we gotta bust her out of jail man i'm in love with this bitch <laughs> The sex scenes are like pretty graphic too. Like Damn. she sat on my face. What? Yeah, yeah, dude. The sex scenes are like what? fucking. Detailed. I love how you were like, this game is super impressive. I scissored a chick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a problem. Never seen get, that. I'm getting dude. this tonight. Dude, yeah, what are we yeah. 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 Can we download no. it right yeah. now, Brian? It might. I like it's not fucking wrong. around. It might be game of the year. Like yeah. it was made by yeah. this smaller oh, studio. It yeah, it's it's on track for like it. It blew everyone out of the water. Like the studio, the guy 
that runs the studio when the game launched he was like expect like a hundred thousand congruence on the server that's what he told like his tech team yeah. and it hit like eight hundred thousand. like oh, the game shit. was way more popular than anyone would Damn. thought and way better than anyone really thought was gonna be um but i yeah if i could i can't recommend a game enough and you can play with up to four people so you're gonna have four buddies okay. all running the campaign. Everyone's got their own That's shit, sick. and you're like yeah. running through this world, going on an adventure together. It's pretty fucking sick. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, dude, we should just have an episode where we just play D and D. Oh, dude, that'd that be would pretty be, funny. Yeah, you you would need like a, like you guys like a good DM yeah. because yeah. it depends on how long the episode is gonna be. Because like a session usually is like three to five hours. Oh it's shit! Long, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, you We're s- talking Monopoly hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh no! But so like if you're willing to do like a long like one or two part or some shit, and uh, you could find a DM who could do an entire arc in that yeah. short period of time. Because yeah. some people play Dungeons and Dragons together for like years and years and years in like one campaign they meet like once a week or once every two weeks and they do a fucking piece of the story and then they meet up again that 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 sounds sweet yeah yeah Yeah, the one like i said the one time it it was literally my cousin and like my girlfriend and then his girlfriend and my other cousin and my cousin and his girlfriend just she kept falling asleep in the middle of it and so it was pretty much just them fighting the entire time (laughs) but like passively aggressively through their characters like she, he'd be like, all right, you need to do this. And she's like, well, I'm actually going to roll and do the opposite. And then <laughs> we're just sitting there like, this is so awkward. <laughs> you just sitting yeah. over there going, we should have played Yahtzee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't, that's one of the things, like, you don't bring the girl to the function. Not your no, girl. You don't yeah, want, like, yeah. you just want, like, the pals hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's kind of like fishing, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, It's like yeah. for the boys. Right. You know? It's for the boys, yeah. man. But, but you can scissor. But you can, oh, <laughs> yeah. you can but scissor. You can Scissor, dude. <laughs> you can fucking. You just never been though. fishing, right, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's a good time. Enough, yeah. Oh god damn. We yeah, never yeah. gave our guest. Our guest doesn't need an intro, but I guess. Yeah. We oh never yeah. Gave yeah. You. We, we just kind of roll. We got yeah. into kratom and fucking rolled in. <laughs> it's alright. That. That's yeah. how I like it. Dude, yeah, Shade yeah. yeah. Thanks for doing dude, the podcast. Dude, thank yeah. you guys Appreciate for having you me. coming on yeah. here. At the you were here at the Creek in the Cave this weekend. Shows were good and everything. Oh, dude, the shows were fire this weekend, man. So fun. Like uh, Austin, Austin is one of the, is, I think it's the only city where the late shows sell out first. Everywhere Whoa, yeah. else, early shows, uh, everyone packs in. But yeah. Austin is such like a fucking like, we go out late, we party, we have party fun town, city. Yeah. Yeah. That people are like, no, I want to go to the late show. Because that's where we're going to get fucked and we're yeah. get fucked up and get like, go for a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I really I really like this city. Nice. We, have, we have good, just like everyone here likes art. So they're just like, oh, this is cool. They have like respect for it. Where yeah. a lot of other cities, it's like, oh, we'll buy these tickets to the early show and then we have we have plans after yeah. this is our like our pre-game and yeah. so they're asked but yeah the crowds here are fucking yeah it's the great. austin wants to be weird everyone has like the culture of like you know we're, we're there's a lot of rich people here but everyone yeah. wants to keep it as like a cool you know kind of party city yeah. yeah and i think you guys are doing a very good job of that like sixth street is a bang in time mm-hmm. yeah. the food's crazy good the art scene's good like the comedy scene here is just like erupting man yeah like more and more fucking legends are moving to this town mm-hmm. at, and you guys are cultivating some like insane talent and have some incredible shows like yeah. it is i mean it's for sure comedy wise better than la yeah. 100%. Like, yeah, yeah. 100%. You, you can get way more stage time here. Way you just more. get around. You're not like, oh, the mic's five miles, or the show's five miles away. Oh, cool. I, it's going to take me 45 minutes exactly. to get there. Exactly. You yeah. can just zoom around town. All our clubs are pretty, like, centrally located. Yep. I mean, I think there, it's what? Sunset, Rogan's, Creek, East Austin Comedy Club, Roscoe's Comedy Club, and the Velveeta Room are all, like, within a block yeah. of yeah. this place. Cap so, City's, like, up north, but it's... And really we got one in the crazy. South South Austin Comedy yeah. Club. Yeah. But there's just, like, so many good rooms, which is fucking... It's sweet. I yeah. like it a lot. It's been it's been good. Are you are you like doing? Are you based out of LA? No, no, I'm New York. I'm oh, New York okay, based. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. No, I, I like New York a lot too. Like New York yeah. is like I mean comedy mecca. There's mm-hmm. like Absolutely. so much shit going on there. Um, I, but I've been back to Austin. This is my third time now, and I yeah. in the past, I came in May and then I came again in like no i came in april then may and now september i didn't come in the middle there because i know it gets fucking yeah. stupid hot here. you gotta get oh, the bro. fuck out of yeah. dodge yeah. during that yeah. it sucks so yeah in the past six months i've been three times and i'm just like i like to keep coming back here because it's so fucking fun yeah 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 it is pretty dope you want to hit a would you rather yeah, yeah. i got all right oh, I got we some... do would you rather so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah yes we got a bunch of them that's kind of like the theme of the pod we do would you rather we took a minute to hop into them but i got some good ones here okay uh would you which we're doing the the 
the piss one first or the or the common one first? Do the common one. Do the common one first. Yeah. All right. Would you rather only edge for the rest of your life or randomly orgasm five times a day? Randomly orgasm five times a day. Yeah. <laughs> and it's 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 violent. It's yeah, like, and it oh, might be why you're yeah. on stage, yeah, and you're, you're like, in the market, oh, you're on a plane, yeah. grabbing your bag, yeah. hits the lady in front of you. Yeah, you know? it's not. You can't just no. like shake it off. Mm -hmm. No, you're like getting a tremble. It's not like, a tickle. Like, do you know? Have you guys you know who Cytheria is? No. no. Cytheria is this porn star who squirts like literally. She could hit the wall, no problem. Pull it up, Brian. Like, <laughs> Pull it up. She I squirts see this. incognito, fucking, incognito. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> could someone spell that for me though? I uh, Cytheria. So I think it's C Y T. E H Cytheria R I A uh, maybe Cytheria porn star. Look up Cytheria porn star and yeah. then she should pop up. It's, this is the Creek's laptop. We're good, Doc. It's not mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but Cytheria, okay, here we go. Yeah. She, so she. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, know. yes, we, on the Thursday podcast here, we we're literally looking it up. Oh, it's All right. that's. Fine. I want to see the squirt. Yeah, I want to see the. So squirt. yeah, if you look up Cytheria squirt compilation or something, she squirts like <laughs> I'm not kidding you. She squirts like a fucking super soaker. Uh, like it goes so far. But when she. Should we do this? Yes. What are you? I'm not. I'm not gonna put it in the pod. Everyone will. will describe. Oh boy. Okay. So right. when she no. squirts, she, a, she fucking like vibrates. She like convulses. Click the one down. Squirting compilate the, that one, right? Or the that's not her. No, that's not her. It's just some randoms. What do you that one you suggest? Um, maybe yeah. What's the is the top one? What does that say? Uh, Horny one. Cynthia has that pussy squirting and sucks dick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. Maybe let's try that. Let's try. Yeah, let's oh, give boy. it a look. Yeah, let's oh, give boy. it. A, make <laughs> sure the sound is not on. I don't want Dude. this. We can't have it on the pod. No. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let any fucking audio of her just getting blasted come through. Okay. So, yeah. Do a little skim through. Do oh, and they skim. have the points. They're wow, like those. Those ha each one she, of those. The points. squirt has to be near the end, right? That's the money. Oh, shot? she squirts several times. I would oh. assume. <laughs> so like, but there's all those points on there like if you look at like <laughs> they, they, they <laughs> yeah go to that one with the highest spike because that's probably where yeah, it is yeah most replayed the, the, whatever's the happening word. right now is crazy oh man all right oh, you know what, Brian? Okay. Maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> we're really just doing yeah, this i think here, the, huh? i think the the it's done there's a, the, do you think oh you think it's this is post squirt maybe but when she squirts, she convulses like crazy. So my point was, that's how we were yeah. coming. And that's what okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's yeah. what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was yeah. getting to. Yeah, yeah. so off topic, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you either come five times a day randomly and you squirt, 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 yeah. or like you're your edging are gone. for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. You're like sitting there talking to your buddies. All of a sudden, you're ah ah. ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking sweating. It's over hot here. I just want to like call you up and be like, "You're sweaty over there, dog." But I was like, "No, point, I'm dying as well." No, no, no. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, man. Because I just started fucking sweating too. We uh. AC's not killer in here, but we're we're about out of the summer. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm not be... used to your guys' heat either. Yeah, yeah. it um, fucking sucks ass. Okay. All right, so 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 <laughs> orgasm five times a day or edge for the rest of your life? Are you're not into or have you ever edged like? Um, yeah, well, yeah, you're yeah. Right. I mean, it's like it's something you. It's I guess it's not something. It's something you do that it's like fun. I feel I don't ever request it. When I when I am like jerking off and it's just me, I I edge. Okay. Like I'm just yeah. like fucking. Oh. I'll if I'm real. I call it like an indulgence wink. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I just got nothing to do. I'll yeah. like literally jerk off for like two hours and just like you bring yourself up then you yeah. stop open a different video keep opening the tabs touching your dick a bit and when you nut at the end of that like i dare a chick to get me to that level <laughs> like i dare you <laughs> you can't compete with what i oh do on my, my time. <laughs> all right <laughs> holy shit are you training for the common <laughs> one i've never heard of this this is no is you this a common practice you don't jerk off like that no so when you jerk off you just go from base to finish like your first Bro, arousal you nut i don't even watch Porn he doesn't watch porn. Okay, I've watched porn for like a year. That okay, good. So that was for you. the first time I've seen porn in a, in a whole. Oh, sorry year. about that. Yeah, Dude. sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, we no, didn't I'm gonna, you were in yeah. recovery. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, sorry. You, you better pop a kratom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I will admit, kratom does give you like opiate dick. It just goes. Oh, just uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's something that's good to yeah, know. Yeah, it gives you Adderall yeah. dick. Okay. So. So okay, so you when every time you jerk off, you yeah. say you even because you, even when I'm just using my brain, I still fucking yeah. go in and out. Like you, you just as soon as you hit the maximum peak of arise, arousal, you yeah. jizz that first time. Yeah, really. Yeah, dude. 
That's nuts. I used to train. I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'll get vulnerable with you guys. Uh, I used yeah, to yeah, train. Yeah. All right, because when I was a young boy and I wasn't having sex, I was like, dude, I need to get good at sex. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like everyone did that, right? Yeah. Like, no, totally. Yeah, yeah. I read some articles. I was like, dude, I want to last so long. My first time. Yeah. And then you know I would train. They're like, you had one practice friend, like you play. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I read. And then so I would like try and try and jerk off for extended periods of time. Just couldn't do it. I, okay. I, when I was like 14, talking about the training, yeah. I watched, used to watch this show called The Sunday Night Sex Show with Sue. Oh, which, yeah. uh, do you, oh, did you guys uh, have that here? Yeah. Can you pull that up, Brian? I don't know what that this, is. Yeah, I've never Maybe heard it was it. Dr. Ruth. Maybe okay. it was a different one that I watched, but same thing. Yeah. Sunday Night Sex Show with Sue was, it was a very Canadian show. This chick's yeah. like, like a Canadian icon. She was this old, old lady. She was like, she just died recently, actually. But she, oh, um, okay. she had like a, um, a sex t call in show that I used to watch because yeah. I thought there'd be tits on it because it was called Sunday Night Sex Show. <laughs> And I remember watching it, and I was young, so I di I didn't hadn't had sex yet, but I yeah. understood <laughs> the concept. Wait, whoa. yeah, she taught you about sex. She taught me about sex, dude. Yeah. And this guy called in, and he was like, <clears throat> "I come too fast during sex." And she's like, "Oh, if you come too fast, what you need when you're jerking off, bring yourself to the peak of arousal, stop, and then like let yourself relax and do that over and over again." Yeah. And I hadn't ha been having sex, but I knew coming fast was bad. The guy was calling in about it. Yeah. So I've jerked off like that my whole life. Oh shit. Wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So Damn. I've. Fucking, oh my god yeah, so you're like Khabib wrestling with some bears <laughs> 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 this guy's undefeated Dude, <laughs> it's, a phenom sometimes it takes me a long time to nut sometimes <laughs> sometimes yeah. I don't nut yeah. and I just tell the girl like I, I just don't sometimes I just don't it's come. Sue's fault it's yeah. that it's, it's yeah. Sue. Blame ever Sue. since Sue yeah. she's like who the fuck is Sue boys if this lady wanted to give you a handy would you let her She's got to be an expert. Look look at that first picture. She's putting a dildo on her chin. I'll let her do anything. Yeah, me. I think I would. I think, like, Sue's such a legend, you let her jerk you off. Yeah. yeah. Like, she's been around sex for so long. Like like I said, dead now, but when she was still breathing. What I'm What like, is a... Can you look up a young Sue? Let's see, yeah. what, yeah. let's see a young yeah. Sue. Yeah. She might have been a looker, dude. <laughs> let's see Dust Bowl Sue. <laughs> but yeah. I think I pick... I pick... Um, you come randomly. Yeah. Yeah, because, I like, I mean, it's random, so that does suck. But it seems like I'm sure you could come separate from those orgasms. Like, five would yeah. be your normal. It'd be like us coming zero times. Like yeah. You, it's, it, you're fine. And then you could do it after. If it happens on stage, you could probably make it funny. And I think know? I would just, like, blame it on, like, seizures or something like yeah. that. That's what I would blame it on. I'd be like, yeah. oh, yeah, I have seizures. Oh. oh. She's not hot. No, she's oh. not. She is never oh. hot. She was never hot. <laughs> Oh. That's tough. All right. That's why she got. She was like, "Look, no one's gonna want to fuck me, so I gotta blow their socks off." I respect yeah. that. Actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not leaving her, dude. Sue, what a beast. All right. Dead at she kind of looks like '93. Who was Alfred in The Dark Knight? What's Michael, Michael Caine? Caine? That's what she looks like. <laughs> Are you out of here? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> She's just jerking shit. you off. She's like. <laughs> Is it nice? Some Master people Wayne. like to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Sex, Doctor Ruth. Okay, so there was a different one for. Is this the American version? Oh, mine's uglier. Yeah, oh, fuck. Man. Shout out Canada. Okay, so yeah, you guys had your own old lady talking about sex. I didn't know it was a Doctor Ruth. This is cool. This is like a whole. Nother... I'm not sure. I might be making this up. This is a whole genre. This is about a four-hour time. It was just, the first one said it was 96 to 05. Yeah, when were you? Uh, how old are you guys? 26. I'm 24. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're a few years younger than yeah. me, so you wouldn't have been you wouldn't have been exposed to this. Damn. No, yeah, I had no yeah. idea this was a thing. That's kind of cool though that they had a show that, like, in a reasonable way, explained sex to people yeah, instead yeah. of just learning about it through porn. No, it's oh. like honestly, I don't think there's any <clears throat> anything on TV like ne that now that is yeah. like that w opens to like sex sex education. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, this is a good. Would you rather? Jimmy brought this up, okay. and it's uh, would you rather have sex? with your girlfriend's mind in your oh, mom's body classic. or your mom's mind in your girlfriend's body okay this one so this is a classic there's a few yeah. classics like yeah. uh you like a classic is like you're in, you're an inch inside your mom your dad's an inch inside you do you move backwards right. or, forward or forward to get yeah. out yeah that one i feel like i've gotten to the bottom of that i've gotten to the bottom of would you rather sit on a cake, cake and, and eat, eat a dick or eat a cake and sit on a dick one of the yeah. og questions that was that the, I, the first three episodes of this pod were me by myself yeah and i did that one on the second episode so like i had to debate it and yeah. my dad listened and he's like did you really just talk about sitting on a dick for like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> he's like knock that shit off he yeah. told me he's like seriously stop doing well, that. 
<laughs> Sorry. Knock that yeah. shit off. That's so funny. Your dad's fucking yeah. reviewing your pod. Yeah. You got to cut that out. Yeah, okay? that shit was gay, bro. I was like, all right. Like, you got to listen to the next yeah. pod. I'm going one inch inside you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> he was upset I didn't pick him. He's like, but seriously, like, why not me, yeah. dude? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, come on, I'm day. gentle. <laughs> I'd love you. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. But this one, this one, I don't know. It's so hard. I, it, it's so hard. Yeah. Because, uh, honest to God, whoever you pick, probably like their mind, that person probably just kind of has to leave your life. Yeah. Because yeah. your girlfriend either experienced you banging your mom yeah. through her eyes, or uh, your mom got t to experience getting torn up by you. And yeah. that's just not. You can't go and have like a cordial dinner with the three of them ever again. No. Yeah. It's such a fucking wild thing. And I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think the other ones have clear answers. This one, I don't know mm. what the. What clear did you get to is. the bottom of with the dad and mom one? What was the your dad? Answer? I think you like you go, you slide into your dad. Yeah. Because I feel like uh, your dad could brush it off. I don't yeah. know about everyone's dad. My dad, mm. you'd just be like, you had to do what you had to do. I'm like, <laughs> 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 Real blue collar dad. Yeah, yeah, hey man, yeah. you gotta get to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, you're right. It'd be like the whole like when you're like, do you save your mom or your dad from falling? And the dad would be pissed. He'd be like, you fucked your mom. What's yeah. wrong with you? Yeah, like, yeah, you, exactly. You. True. Fuck, yeah, get fucked by me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll get over this. We'll go have a we'll go have a Dodger dog at a baseball game, and then that's it. You yeah. fucking no you. beers. No beers. No beers. Yeah. No, no beers. Get drunk and it happens again. <laughs> Fuck. No beers. Can't can't risk it, but <laughs> we can get over it. I think. I think. I think you fuck your mom and your girlfriend's body mm -hmm. because then you're, for one, it's easier for you. Yeah. And your mom's going to die sooner. <laughs> <laughs> I that. think that's, that's I think that's what you do. It, that yeah. Yeah. whole thing is out of your life faster mm -hmm. and you are bearing less of the weight. You're putting more weight on your mom. Yeah. But it's like, hey, you know what? That's what you. That's what a mom's job is. Yeah. yeah. You gotta take your shit's kid, on, your your yeah. shit on yeah. from your kids. That's true. And maybe you have like a cool mom. She's just like, you know, I'm just gonna imagine that I I saw it. You know, uh, uh, you yeah. love your girlfriend. That's great. And then yeah, because are they yeah. like? So or you can break up. Yeah. Or you can break up. You can yeah, break yeah. Up. You get a new girl. Yeah. Yes. You can get a new girl. Can't get a new mom. You cannot get a new mom. <laughs> you can't be at Thanksgiving yeah. every year just being like, God, that was. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's just cutting the turkey, and you're like, "Fuck." I did one on uh, on uh, bar stools. Answer the internet. Yeah. And they there was one that was, "Would you rather have a good hand job from your grandmother or a bad hand job from your grandmother?" Uh, yeah. uh, good, because let's just get it over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so much weird. Like it's gonna be weird either way. Yeah. But it's so much weirder if like. 25 minutes into it you're just like grandma it's just not gonna happen <laughs> yeah she's like no i can make yeah. it happen you're like it's not gonna it's i'm not gonna come that's what i didn't i didn't want to have to like console my grandma <laughs> for me. like it's okay you know we just do it different these days yeah, yeah. it's like it's just it's, it's changed a lot yeah. since yeah. your time like uh. i wouldn't want to have to see my grandma disappointed because she couldn't right. jerk me off yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. be like you gotta spit on it <laughs> you gotta do something it's you know you can't just <laughs> i feel like you don't want it to be good either though no, I mean, you, know, you don't want either. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, then she, it was the yeah, was not like, What were you thinking? Right? You're <laughs> like, no, I mean, like a good one would be cool. but Well, because then what, then you're at Thanksgiving on a grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's tough, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, a good fuck. one. The, yeah, those ones are, anyone involving your family is always such a fucking. It's like, woof, what do you do? Yeah. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. That's yeah. the point. Yeah. I, I hate when fucking you give someone a would you rather, like, oh, would you rather like the mom? And someone's like, I just would do neither. It's like, that's, that's not the game. Well, now you're, now, now you're dead. Yeah. Now you yeah. die. Yeah. It's like, oh, I would die then. It's like, no, no, no. The game is you have yeah. to choose. Mm -hmm. You have to choose. There's no option where you yeah. don't choose. If it yeah. was easy, this wouldn't be fun. If I was just like, would you rather have a, a popsicle or get ran over by a bus? Yeah, like, yeah <laughs> this isn't fun. Yeah, the what popsicle, we, of course. Yeah. What are we doing here? Also, you don't have to fuck your mom. Yeah, 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 you don't yeah. have to fuck your mom in you your girlfriend's really, body. Yeah. So let's just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how about play the fucking game? Yeah. It's not like Jumanji or something. You get sucked into the world. <laughs> like, oh, it's real. Yeah. Dude. We have a surprise here. We have your yeah. mom to prove it right now. Get in here, Mr. Rayner. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we got would you rather pee your pants in public once a week or shit your pants in private every other day? Oh. A shit's a messy thing. 
I think this is messy too, though. I think shit your pants in private every other day mm -hmm. because that's just like, I think I would just schedule my day around it. I know it's going to be in private. Yeah. So I would probably like, I would wear like a diaper or something. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I would know that if I am, because then it's like, what's considered private? Like if I am at work and I'm around all these people and I get up to like, I'm going to grab a coffee and I'm in the break room by myself, is that in private? What do we want to decide? What's the ruling on this, you think? Is it? I feel like. Private, I think, is at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, yeah, for this one, I, I, I was your, imagining. your pants at home. I mean, I, I'll do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I have no issue doing that. Yeah, I, if I have a working shower or anything, dude, I'm going to shit. I, I might do it for fun. Damn, adult diapers are kind of expensive. This is oh, now. Are they? I might just shit my pants and do a lot of laundry. Yeah. $47 for. Oh, that's only like a dollar a diaper. That's not bad. Also, yeah. I'm like, is there a weird thing with this curse where you could get something with the front fine print where you're like, I just wear shorts. I don't wear pants. You can't get me, dude. He's like, block, block. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, because it's like, I guess we got to say you're home because then we could also argue private. Like you're in the green room about to go on and then like your feature walks out and you're alone. Now you're in private. Yeah. Would you then shit shit your pants then because then that's not different enough from the pissing then it's like yeah. oh it's like oh you're oh, you're pissing yourself in front of people and people yeah. are yeah. there i think i think um i think the shitting i think yeah. the shitting you I can shit. manage it the mm -hmm. shitting yourself every other day in private is almost like you're a werewolf or something yeah. like it's like <laughs> it's a yeah. same fucking thing cameron we were playing this game where you turn into a werewolf and we're like what's worth like werewolf or vampire and he's like vampire for sure he's like werewolf is no worse than thirty thousand dollars of debt like you, can, like, <laughs> you, like, you just it's something your, you have to manage you know you, yeah. this is like it, you deal with it too. But you yeah. put yourself in a cage and you lock it and you go like, Rah! and yeah. then you just fuck in. <laughs> and then you, 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 do, you do that once a month. Yeah. It's like right. an ayahuasca retreat. Yeah. Once a and month. Once a month, you fucking check the moon cycle. You're good to go. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. That's, that's it. Sweet. I hate to interrupt, but Brian, can you click on the U line disposable shit pants right there? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, just really a pair tough. of pants that you can <laughs> shit in. <laughs> No way. Okay. Versatile protective scrubs for more than just medical use. <laughs> Are these, what is Uline? Are breathable SMS polypropylene fabric resists f tearing and, and abrasion. A, and, oh my God. So one you, back pocket. So you can just shit in one these. <laughs> This is a ninety dollars <laughs> shit pan right here. <laughs> why is why is getting three pairs three dollars less than buying one pair too? They're just trying to move units, I think. Yeah. Right yeah. Bro, oh. growing up, my uh, growing up, my cousin used to poop out like little pebbles. And they okay. just like shake them out of his pant leg while oh. he was walking. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you just be like walking behind him, and you're like, "Did I just step in shit?" Oh yeah. my god, oh, yeah. dude! How old was he? Rabbit? He was probably like eight. Well, okay. And he would just like, <laughs> Still but just he would do it all the time, and he'd just like shake it out, like yeah. it was a party That's trick. That's not young you know? enough, man. <laughs> like it was a yeah. party. Be like, trick. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? That's poop. <laughs> 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 like he thought it was funny. He thought it was I mean, kind of when funny. you were eight, it was funny as fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wow. Dude, That's crazy. Man. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but yes. Poop, no, pa poop pants are pretty sweet. Poop pants are yeah. important. Yeah, I'm going I'm going with the shit your pants in private. Got yeah. to. You can just clean up, have a few extra pair of pants, like uh, kind of understand like every, like your routine is you get home, you put on your poop pants and you're and you just yeah. accept yeah. that this is probably going to happen right. at some it's point. It's kind of like having your period. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah. You would, you would probably yeah. have to sleep with a diaper on, though, because it would probably happen when you sleep sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be. <laughs> the, guy, the, uh, the guy on the box. <laughs> no way. I like that he's like 45. He's yeah. like the rock kind of. Pants, you know? Dude, yeah, and he's a fit guy, too. Yeah. Like, he probably takes a probiotic. Why are you shitting your pants? Oh, dude? they 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 gave him a rock hard bulge yeah, too. Yeah. Bulge. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's yeah. got a fucking yeah. two pound weight. He has in a his cup pants. on, like, <laughs> the UFC fighter cup. <laughs> <laughs> he's walking out with that Conor McGregor, yeah. just extra, yeah, extra yeah. large yeah. cup. Bro, his face even says like, "Look how big my dick is." Yeah. Yeah. Brian, hey. that looks like you, Brian. What are yeah, we talking? Shut about? the fuck up. <laughs> <Is that laughs> not you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. Thank you. You're the worst version of him. You have the worst feature <laughs> of him in every way. All right, now I hate you. No, he is. He's like a big dude. He's yeah. a big, strong man who shits his pants. That's, <laughs> that, that's you know what's what cool? Selling. This is his big break. This, this is, is yeah. His... 
<laughs> Mom, dude, I'm gonna be the new maximum absorbency the pen shit your pants dude. underwear. They've I, never had a double XL model, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> I think that's why they had to put this guy in the maximum absorbency because they're like, this it works on this guy. <laughs> like he shits, dude. <laughs> Bro, this guy fucking takes dumps like yeah. you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, he's wow. not just he's not having little pebbles fall out of his pants. No, no dude, he's damn. donking. Oh god. That's damn. great. Have you shit your pants? Uh, uh not recently. Okay. But yeah, I shit my pants. Yeah. I I moved to Mexico and when I was in Mexico, I was there for 3 years. Yeah. Oh, sure. I shit my pants I think like 8 times in 3 years. <laughs> what? Yeah. There was like yeah, bro. I think three of them were like right at the beginning. The first two weeks, yeah, uh, your body's like adjusting, mm -hmm. and I was sh like, my shit was coming out fucking wild. And that like uh, span of time too, I was drinking a lot. I was partying yeah. a lot. I was like 19, 21. Yeah. If I had kept living like that, I probably would have like IBS or something. Yeah. But I made a point of like eating better, cleaning. I like yeah. I my shits now. Yeah. Holy shit! I'm in the top like I want to say. 0.01% of shitters. Like, okay. I, like my shits come out Damn. consistently like a bar of soap, like a <laughs> yeah. wet bar of soap, like sleek, but like yeah. firm. They just shoot out. Oh. I'm on the toilet often for like the, I sit, shit, the whole process is done. Like wipe included, 30 seconds. Get the fuck oh, out yeah, of here. Oh yeah, that's no. I'm shitting. That's real? Unreal good. Like I'll wipe once a little bit of shit and there's like almost like a mucus that comes out of my ass because it's oh, fucking, wow. I got a lubed asshole. Like Wait, my, what? Like, what do you eat? Like, How do you do Yeah, this? what's the secret? You to need leafy ass. greens, leafy greens and you need probiotics. And then you make like more mucus in your asshole. Okay. Shit comes out like fucking smoother. Yeah, dude. Wait, what, what, what do you mean probiotics? What do you eat to get probiotics? Oh, yeah, I buy like a probiotic. Like yeah. you like a, it's like a supplement. Those pills that you take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, yeah, I shit like unbelievably oh, good. Whoa. Yeah, dude. This sounds nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got to do it. My shits this week won't be that good because I'm eating like tons of barbecue and like yeah. drinking and shit. You went to shit. Terry Black's? Yeah, yeah, I went to Terry Black's, yeah, dude. I think that's the best one you can do here in Oh, town. dude, it was fucking, do you know, you know Zach Taylor? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach yeah. Zach, yeah. he fucking, uh, he picked me up at the airport and he's like, we're going to go for food. And I was like, oh, sick, dude. And he takes us to Terry Black's. He's like, I know the dude here. We just go right to the front line, oh, sit down. Sick. They were so fucking sick there. They hooked up with a ton of food. They're like, it's on the house, guys. Nice, and we're like, dude. are you? F I was like, what? Holy shit. Yeah. It was the fucking nicest, dopest fucking thing ever, dude. Yeah. 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 yeah they're, they're good people there. And the food is just so fucking yeah, good. So good. You dude. can get so fat here so easily. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Just luckily, food's expensive here, too. Yeah, That's yeah. the like once is everything's a food truck. So you're like, damn, that. A slice of pizza was eight dollars. Yeah, like it's, yeah. You get that gross, like yeah. price hike, but I'm sorry, it's still dope. Food. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's still great. And oh, the, the variety is pretty cool. Oh, the food. Yeah. The f I was out at that. Uh, what's it called? A hillside pharmacy. It's a brunch spot. Um, oh, I fucking I don't know what area it's yeah, in. Yeah, I guess you don't know that. But Over on the east side. I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, but that place was. Hey, do you know where uh, pa uh, Paperboy is? Yes. It's yes. A, literally right next to Paperboy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, it's over on the east side, yeah. So gotcha. Hillside Hillside was fucking fire. We got, like, a bunch of different stuff and shared it. If you go there, get the mushroom toast. It's, like, not something I would think of ordering off of a fucking menu. Yeah. It was yeah. so fucking good. Really? But, yeah, we had a fat brunch this morning. And oh. then after, I was, like, I was on my own. I went down to fucking Casino El Camino. and I got Dude, I was just going to suggest that to you. Cool. Yes, that's crazy. I go every time. I've already been twice since I've been here. You get oh, the yeah. pork belly burger? Oh, I, or which one do you, uh, do you get? Um, this time I got yeah I think it was the Madison the one that's pork yes. belly on top oh, of the burger dude. that one's fucking good so I really good. like the armadillo the spicy one that yes. has jalapenos Sounds and the pepper yeah. jack cheese yeah. I'm all about that one yeah. the whole every burger fucking rules on that yeah. menu yeah casino yeah. I mean, and it's such yeah. a cool spot like they yes. kind of like don't give a fuck that you're there they hate you yeah <laughs> they hate, they're, they're so you mean <laughs> so mean that's what good food is you about though. like hate. a good restaurant <laughs> has people that are just like all right yeah it's like you you're gonna come back I know you're gonna come yeah. back because so fucking good. So how about you yeah. sit the fuck down and <laughs> shut the fuck up? I like trendy this. places that don't want to be trendy. Yeah, they don't yeah. want people to come in that have heard of them from Instagram. They're like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Right. It's like a metal bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and there's like yeah, little like I saw people walk in when I was in there like that had like these girls with like flower crowns. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing in yeah. here? It's like because they heard about it and they like the, the type of people that work there are like what the fuck yeah yeah they're mad and then you just have like always one dude like sleeping on the bar like the local <laughs> yeah. just street dude. rat it's yeah. great yeah i love a place that you or like you order what's on their menu no modifications yes. and they're so put out yeah they're like oh you want a cheeseburger with everything on it the only thing we serve 
fucking fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, man. Dude, every time I've gone, not every time, this time was during the day, so it's slow, so they're not as stressed. Yeah. Well, it's slower. It was actually quite busy during the yeah. day, too. But each time I've gone at night, we have ordered and then some of the food has come out and some of it hasn't. Mm -hmm. And you put your order in and they just yell shit out. They mm -hmm. go like, Brandon. And then you're like, you go yeah. up. Yeah. And so you were like, oh, did they not make some of it? And both time we've we've gone up be like, hey, so we didn't get all the food. And they're like, okay, yeah, yours is coming. This stuff here, <laughs> not yours, okay? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They don't even let you say like, we're missing this, this, and this, or like, is this and this, this coming? They're just yeah. like, fuck off. Yeah. And then it, it yeah. always has yeah. come. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like, I love, I like I that energy. That. Yeah. yeah. You said you lived in Mexico for three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in Mexico in um, when I was, I moved there when I was 19. Uh, I was a scuba diving instructor. Oh, shit. Uh, that's yeah. sick. It was, it was dope. It was dope. It was fun living for, for a hot, hot What part of time. Mexico? Uh, Plato Carmen. It's like just south of Cancun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's yeah. a great, wow. Was, that was basically like my college. Yeah. I just like taught scuba diving, hung out. That's where I started doing stand up. Okay. I yeah. did. It's you started in Mexico? Yeah. Damn, so we sick. just did it for tourists. Uh, I did it once a week. There was one group of guys that was like three Canadians and an American, and mm -hmm. they would just put on bar shows. Um, yeah, and we just started doing that shit. That's um, great. And it was fucking dope, dude. It really, it, it was a good way to start because mm -hmm. it was once a week and because it was all tourists. It was like a very soft introduction into comedy. Yeah. Uh, and the a lot of the guys there who were doing it have been doing it for a while. There's one dude who was like an old road dog who did it like years and years and years ago yeah. he was one of those comics who'd like the same joke at every fucking show yeah. had the same yeah. little act it killed but it's like he never had anything new yeah he's been doing it for 20 years yeah yeah um and yeah it was just it was it's a good way to start so that when i moved to toronto i moved to toronto a year into that or maybe it was a year and a half um then i was like now i'm in a city that actually does comedy like right. pretty substantially and then i could climb up through those ranks and then a fucking eight years after being in Toronto, moved to New York. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How's Did, Toronto scene? Toronto scene rules. Um, I think it's changed a lot since COVID. Uh, when I was coming up through there, there was tons of mics, tons of bar shows. There was uh, three like really good clubs, maybe four. Yeah, because there was Yuck Yucks, Absolute. Those are like more the chain clubs. Mm -hmm. Then there was the um, there's the Corner Comedy Club, which was a new club that started when I was a few years into uh, Toronto. Yeah. And that was like a little box place that would seat like 30. Then they moved to another location that would seat like 50, 60. Um, then there was... Uh, the underground, which isn't there anymore, but okay. the underground ruled. The underground, like Rogan's performed there, Ari Shafir's performed okay, yeah. there, Tom Segura. It yeah. was this vapor lounge in Toronto, like years and years ago. So this was when something like that was still way more of a novelty and way more cool. Yeah. So people were like smoking and drinking in there. The space literally looked like a, a hippie mom's basement from the 70s. Nice. Like there was all these old toys from all this cool shit. There was a giant pot leaf painted on, on like the stage backdrop. <laughs> great. It was such a cool fucking space. Uh, and that was one of the best stages in the city by far. Yeah. Uh, but that place shut down when they legalized weed. Uh, there was this weird thing that happened where before if you're smoking weed indoors, it was like a gray area, but then smoking weed indoors after legalization, it basically became smoking. So you, yeah. so like the oh, fucking I see. inspectors yeah. were coming, they would, and they just shut the place down. Fuck. Um, but then there was also comedy bar, which is comedy bar is like the longest running independent venue in uh toronto like mm -hmm. ev like chris red did a bunch of shows at comedy bar yeah. like re not yeah. that long ago it's everyone who's come through andrew Schulz talked about yeah. how the first time he came to toronto he did comedy bar and then he went to a little bit bigger venue and then a bigger one now okay. he's doing fucking the uh the scotia bank yeah. center yeah. <laughs> yeah crazy crazy um but uh yeah, that's uh, uh, there, there's a really good scene there. I think post COVID, a lot of those like indie bar shows kind of shut down, and I don't know if it's recovered in the same way. Because um, I kind of, as COVID was happening, I was sort of established to a certain point where I could just do like my, my spots at, at like some clubs and shit like that, yeah. and some of the better indie shows. Right, and then. Uh, not too long after that, I was mo I moved to New York, yeah. so I never got back in touch with what that scene is like. But I think it's still very good but i don't think it was what it was before yeah and yeah. then so how long ago did you move to new york uh it's been it was a year in july so it's been like a, a year okay. and, a, uh, and change now and yeah yeah and that's been really good yeah like uh like shout out to like jj lieberman and ryan long and danny polachuk like these guys really i just met jj's in town right yeah yeah, yeah i just i did a show with them last night okay just, sick yeah. 
funny guy. Like yeah. yeah, those are oh, that whole group is like Toronto boys that moved yeah, over, gotcha. and those guys opened up a lot of doors for me. Mm -hmm. They probably saved me like over a year of like meeting people, shaking hands, moving up through the scene. Right. Yeah. Where I just like got right in. It, the first month or two was I was only doing like two or three spots uh, um, a week, which is like a lot less than you want to be doing. Yeah, because no one knew who I was. After that, I was getting up to that like seven to 10 range. And now like getting t uh, 10 to 20 spots every single week is not a problem at all. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like busy in that city constantly. Oh, that's so good. That's yeah. fucking that's great. Fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great city. It's a great then, city. So then you moved after there after you kind of already blew up on social media and yeah. everything. Yeah, that got me the keys to the castle. Okay, yeah. Uh, I started growing on social, like it was like December, 2020, I started posting seriously. By February 2021, a manager reached out and was like, hey, like I've seen the stuff you're doing. She's like, I, I rep comedians and I rep like online personalities. I see you do stand up too. Like, can I, I would love to sit and talk with you and, and work with you. She's absolutely fucking incredible. So then she helped me get all my paperwork going. She helped me um, get like, uh, we basically need, need like proof of work, like proof that clubs are going to book me in order to get the work visa f to come to America. Gotcha. Yeah. Got all that stuff lined lined up, got uh, Levity, who she works through Levity, Levity to sponsor the visa. So like, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll, we're, they don't, doesn't mean they're paying for it, but it just means right. like we're supporting it. Yeah. Then all, then once that happened, we put all these shows together. We went on like a, like a one nighter tour that sold really well. She then leveraged that into me getting repped by like a big agency. And it just like was one thing after the other from Damn. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah dude. That's yeah. fucking That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. It's been good. It's been good since, uh, since I moved to America, it's been fucking nothing but amazing. Yeah, do you think like one of the, cause like I, you were one of the first people I followed on TikTok. Cause for so long I thought you just didn't follow people on TikTok like, cause the feed makes itself for you. Yeah. Do you think that like the, the follow me you fucking idiots thing you started doing at the end, do you think that was like one of the biggest reasons you just started gaining followers or more just the, cl the clips itself? Like, did you notice a difference between it? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like follow me you fucking idiots. Uh, like it was when I first started making content seriously, yeah. I would spend just as much time making content as I would researching. So it's been like an hour a day, like looking through shit and trying to react to shit and like writing jokes about these videos and all that shit. And I would spend an hour or more a day just watching YouTube videos of like, this is what the algorithm is. This is what blah, blah, blah. And one thing that people kept saying was like, you need a call to action in all your videos. Mm. So you know how if you watch a YouTube video, everyone goes like, hey, like and subscribe, like yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. No one does that on TikTok or Instagram or any of those other platforms. No one really does a call to all action. Right. So you stand out and it just kind of happenstance not only encouraged way more people to follow, but it also gave me like an identifiable thing that like, oh, you're the follow me fucking idiots guy, which yeah. to me is the first step of like, oh, I'm now, I if, if you don't know my name, you recognize me to a certain extent. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. like it gives you like an identity online yes. almost. Yeah. Yes. Is it do people like yell that at you and is it weird that it's like something slightly profane? Uh I love it. Yeah. Like I mean just to be just to have people who give a shit about what you do yeah. feels nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Yeah, yeah. dude. That's fun. You dude. Got any last? Yeah, I got one. This yeah. is not a would you rather, but we're the the the, the follicle one and shit. Have you seen oh, okay. this going around the internet? No. Are there more blades of grass or hair follicles on earth? Oh, this is good. This is like wheels and doors. Yes. Yeah. yeah because it's like immediately I'm like <laughs> hair, like we all yeah. have like pretty good hair, a lot of it, but there's so many bald people, but there's also so much desert and like yeah. barren land. I think it's gotta be hair. Cause for some reason, something tells me that like, if like grass, like what qualifies as grass? Like, I, cause there's mm. a lot of places where, like in a forest, there's not a lot of grass, right? No, is yeah, that, I guess it'd be like weeds and- Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a whole mix of shit. Shrubs, grass is really yeah. like lawns. And something tells me, I don't know if this is true, but I, something tells me that there's gonna be more hair on your head than blades of grass on a lawn. Yeah. I yeah. Bet, how many, I, can you look that up? How many follicles of hair you have in your head? Yeah. Well, real quick, my thing is everyone is born with hair. Not everyone's born with a front yard. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bars, then, that was some hood wisdom right there. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> and then are we talking about like animals and shit too? 
like all the hair on every animal. There's a lot oh, of hair well, then, in animals. Absolutely, I would yeah. Think I guess if you're going animals, a hundred percent hair. Then, but I guess I'm thinking I, just when hair I thought, on I thought head. humans, human yeah, hair yeah. head. Okay. Yeah. Because fuck yeah. Okay, so there's f uh, babies are born with all their hair follicles they need in their lifetime. On average, people come into the world with about five million hair follicles. Five million. Okay. And I mean, how many? Bl I don't think there's, there's five like, million what? blades of grass. Isn't on there it? like eight billion people in the world? Yeah. So if we said it, ha half of them are bald, which is like probably not true. Yeah. That still me is like. You I know, mean, that's yeah. That's four billion times. Five million is some number I can't. It's like twenty billion or so. Yeah. Two, it's like Google. Maybe a yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The average square foot of grass has three thousand. Yeah, it's oh, a, that's it's, crazy. It's hair follicles. Okay, that, but that's just a square foot. A square foot. That's yeah. a square yeah. foot. So, but one head just has a million. Has how, five million. It's five million. So how many square feet? There's like, twenty million pieces of hair in this room right now. Yeah. Okay, but look at how many square feet is a football field. Bank. Yeah, I was it's, just yeah, thinking that. It, yeah, it's yeah. I know it's what that looks like. It's 110 yards long, which is 300, or it's 100 yards long, 120 with each end zone. So that's 300 feet, like 350 feet. And then how do you get square feet? This is too much math. I like that we're really just breaking this down. Okay. 57,600 uh, 57, square feet <laughs> times 3,000. So what's 57? Let me do it. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Five million three hundred and seventy-three. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I was gonna be like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wait, what are we timesing that by? Three, three thousand. Was it three thousand. Yeah. Okay. So five seven six zero times three thousand is one million seven hundred. Wow. This much. One hundred seventy-two million. One hundred seventy-two million. So that's like. That's a lot too. I mean, that's yeah. That's not that's, even a person's hair follicle. That, so. no, 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 no. Five million is one person's hair so follicle. That's, so one football field is equivalent to let me divide it by five million then yeah. right this is so much this is hilarious this is so much better. Yeah. 34 people is one football field but you get so many people into like one football field yeah so and that's like not a lot actually that's yeah. not only 34 people when you think there's like fucking if we're saying four billion people right. have hair yeah okay i yeah. think we gotta go hair follicles on yeah. this one yeah i'm going hair yeah. all right going hair. I agree. lock it in, lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> there's Final never gonna answer. be an yeah. answer for this there's never no one's ever gonna find this out yeah what a mm. upset like everyone's sitting here listening and then yeah. we just don't really have an answer yeah, yeah. just go all right guys I, agree with yeah. That. Yeah. I think the only reason grass has a chance is because of golf courses oh because the golf course shit. is so much bigger than a football field it when is. It comes to grass. but what about like the siberian desert there's not an ounce of grass in there and yeah, that's the like tundras. I mean, there's all of uh, Antarctica and fucking North and South Pole. No, no grass. All yeah, but then of we the got Mojave Desert. No like grass. E it almost yeah. evens out. What's you know? the but largest all, area of grass in the world? Yeah, and I, I wish there was. I wonder if there's no way there's like how many. People I mean, you are could bald. also look up how much grass is on the planet Earth. That might help too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm no sure word. Neil deGrasse Tyson has said it at one point. Damn. Okay. So like, there's not a single country in the United States that has more, or a single. That was so dumb. There's not a single country in the world that has higher than forty percent bald rate, and that's like some European countries. I'm really bad with geography, but it looks and like some of those bald maybe aspects. Spain. Yeah, yeah. Has a lot of bald people. Whatever, whatever that dark blue one is. Oh, yeah. You're Canadian. You guys are better at geography than Americans. They don't teach us shit. I'm yeah, just... this is a dark blue. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I think that's Spain. Uh, What's on the end of it, though? What's that that's, little guy? Portugal? No, that's what I'm is that Portugal? Yeah. Is that where Portugal is? Yeah, we're on the Iberian. We got a lot of handsome bald people. Who knew Spain sense. was so bald, dude? Yeah. But you see, there's not a single one, and some don't even like, 20% is like light blue, and there's just white Nice. images so like i'll put this into the pod for people to see but it's like it's a map of percentage of bald males and there's i mean all of south america is under 25 percent. so there's yeah. not 50 percent bald people that means there's like six billion people with hair probably in the mm, world which yeah. is just it's got to be hair it's got to be hair. hair i think there's I'm, no way i'm locking in i'm yeah. going locking hair. in hair yeah. locking in i'm okay with that yeah, yeah i'm okay yeah. with hair i can live with that yeah all right i think what are we at brian we're over like an hour now right yeah 111 
All right, cool. Okay, well, yeah. we'll wrap the pot up, dude. Thank yeah, you so much for doing it. This was a great fucking time. Thank the you. The floor is yours to plug whatever you got. This will be out this Wednesday. Right on. Yeah, um, yeah I you can find me on all platforms at Shade Arena. That's C-H-E-D-U-R-E-N-A. Tour dates coming up. I'm going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm oh, going yeah. to be in Missouri, both in Columbia and St. Louis. I'm going to be in Denver, Colorado, uh, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. I'm going on the road with Burt Kreischer for five dates as well. Hell yeah. And then the big, big show coming up in the new year is going to be the Wilbur in Boston. Tickets are on sale for that right now. Dude, yeah, I'm fucking pumped for that. It, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's actually tickets are moving fast. All the floor seats are already sold, so we're probably going to sell this bitch out. Fuck yeah, Sweet, dude. bro. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, exciting. Nice. Exciting. All right. Yeah. And then what's all your handles and shit like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Chade Arena everywhere. C H E D U R E N A. Uh, Chade Arena.com for tickets. Little Dinky News on Twitch and Kick for all the gaming content. Oh, nice. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Yeah, guys, everything you need will be in the bio if you're trying to find a trade. Thank you so much for doing the pod. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, uh, anyone, yeah, just follow us. We got dates. If you're in here in Austin, every Wednesday, Rocky's Piano Bar. Every Thursday, Creek Cave Live. Yep. Uh, yeah. You got anything yeah. else to plug? Not yet. All right, then. Yeah, Other than yet. that, guys, if this is your first time listening or your 162nd, we appreciate you. Most importantly, thank you for letting us be your last resort. See ya. Yeah. Check it out now, it's like this shawl, it's like that Anna, it's like this shawl, it's like that Anna, like that, check it out now, check it out, hey, yo. This one right here is about a girl, and you've seen this girl before if you've been to any club in the whole wide world, check it out, her nickname's Last Resort.